Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Challington Farm where we're going to continue work on our field which we were cultivating last time and we used the John Deere for that, the John Deere 8360. I'm not really too good with John Deere's numbers so I always have to look. Uh, but yeah, we've done the cultivating, it was ploughed so we've worked the soil a bit and now we can actually put some seed into the seed bed. And to do that I would like to get two well, at least one more mod, actually. They're both going to be mods, but one's going to be a new mod. And that is a John Deere. You'll be pleased to hear. And it's this one just here. Now, I have no idea how good this is. It's just I saw it on a mod site, and I thought, oh, that looks quite good. And I saw everything which had been done to it in the change log, and it looked quite impressive. So we're going to throw a bit more money at this. And we're going to spend nearly £130,000 there. And we're also going to buy that Brednar Strom, um, seed which we used in Melbury Estate, because I did enjoy using that, it's very good, and it also does a lot of fruit types. So, and I'm also going to buy that, it's not very expensive. So here we are in the tractor, and so far, it looks quite good. I think it is probably a conversion from FS13, and maybe even a previous version from that, but, you know, it looks quite good. It's got a bit of a wobbly wheel. I don't know if that's to do with the real terrain mod. I have got the hotfix installed, but I don't know if it will still affect it in any way. It could be the mod itself. So I'm just going to drive it and see how good it actually is. It seems to be okay when driving. So we shouldn't have any issues with this. I'll attach it to the cedar and we'll go and get some seed. Now I was under the impression that this manual attach mod you could actually lower and higher and lower the hitch. I don't know if you can on some, but it seems that you just get out of the tractor and then you hook it on. So I, I, apparently there is a new one in development which allows you to do that and put the PTO on and everything. But I don't think this version does do that. But anyway, we'll just attach it. Um, I mean, you can you do higher and lower the hitch at the back using these controls, and you can can uh, hitch it on but obviously we didn't put the PTO on or anything there so it could have been more realistic and I don't like those wobbling wheels but you don't really find out these things until you give these things a try. I'm sure it would be much better in the field. We'll give it a go. Let's just see how good it is. I don't think we need a weight. We seem to be okay. Although you know, it looks a bit you know it looks a bit uh, light on the front there. Let's just see. Um, I don't know. We'll probably put a small one on. Some of you may argue we didn't need one at all. It's just that's quite quite a big thing on the back there. And we'll do a manual attach here. I don't know if this because this has got interactive control. We might be able to obviously open the front arms. They're already open. I don't think you can higher and lower them though quite a basic interactive control there. So we'll just jump out of the tractor and we'll do the manual attach on the front. Yep, that is the sound from Farming Simulator 2008 and 2009 for the attach sound. I don't know if it's for 11, it could well be, but definitely the early ones. Yeah, it's definitely okay when you're driving, but the wheels do have a tendency to move, very similar to that class which we got, which was, I don't think, an official version of it, that's why I had to change it. So, I think it probably is a conflict between the Real Terrain mod and the plow spec, because this one does have plow spec, and someone called Sean did actually mention that there would be a problem, or there could be a problem, with these. And I didn't actually have a problem with the massive focus in the class, but there definitely is some sort of conflict with this tractor. So we may not be keeping it, but it's just nice to try out a new machine. There seems to be so many different versions of a very similar mod. It's very hard to know which is the best one to get.
I don't think she'll go underneath the bridge, although it may do. Hmm. We'll give it a go. We'll go nice and steady. It's quite bumpy around here. And fingers crossed we'll clear it. Yep, not too bad. So we're going to go and get seed, but also at the same time I'm going to go and do the chickens, because I said we're going to do a different animal every day, or every episode. Uh, the chickens are the third thing we've done. We've done the cows, we've done the sheep, and now we're doing the chickens. Although we haven't finished the sheep, we will have to do that very soon. Um, I'm thinking the Massey Ferguson 698, that really good mod from the mod contest. I would like to use that for some form of mowing. Well, I want to do some mowing and also some baling at some stage. Now, where do you get your seed from? I think it's down here. The hours I must have played on this map and I still don't know where the seed is. It's embarrassing. Now, I've had requests for potatoes in that field, sugar beet, and also the most popular request was to put canola into the field, so I've probably put that in, as this seems, it does seem to be a very suitable field for it, and also I don't think there is much canola about on this farm yet, so we do have to put some in. Yep, if this, if that back wheel wasn't doing that, this model would be fine. Oh, I've put the front weight down. Now we can go out this way, especially as the chickens are down here. I'll just park the tractor here for now. And we need to give them wheat, I think. I think they take wheat, this must be their trough here. And also water. I'm not sure which is water and which one's for the wheat, but. We do need to. Oh look, I never even remembered I had that. We're going to have to use that as well at some stage. So the best thing to do is to jump into the telehandler, get a bucket on. We've already got the water here actually, so we'll probably use this first. Then the telehandler and do the wheat, if we've got any wheat in storage. Just head up to the top of the yard. That's still fermenting. We'll be able to use that very soon. Obviously the chickens really aren't going to need too much water. 10% should do it, or 11%. Sorry if you can hear the steering wheel. I need to put a, like a rubber mat underneath it to absorb some of the sound. I've had a desk tidy up. Not that you would... Uh, be able to tell if you saw it, but I have had a tidy up. It's a rare event. Now, where is their water? I don't know which one their water trough is, but I'm pretty sure it did say that we had to give the chicken some water. Yes, it did, and wheat. So there must be somewhere for it. It might be a better idea if I actually jump out the tractor and take a look around. I think the trough is for wheat. But they've got two troughs, so one of them must be for water, you'd have thought. If I don't find out, I'll have to try again later. Hmm, yeah, there's two troughs. Nothing which looks like it would take water, so I guess I should try this one. Ah, oh, there we go, yes, we've done it. And you can barely even tell we've put anything in it at all, but we have, I think it says we did anyway, we, we did do the water there, so that's one thing done. Hmm, we have an issue. Yeah, that is seriously bad. I kind of regret downloading it now, but you don't know until you try it. It might be better if I leave the engine running. I might not do that dance. Yeah, that's not as bad. So... I don't know. We'll probably sell it. I mean, the Massey Ferguson tractor there and this class tractor are faultless. They are really good mods. 
and then there's other mods which have just been you know converted over and had things added to them like the plow spec and then you get these incompatibilities and they're just not as good overall when they're made really well to begin with that is when you get a really good mod so we've got the bale grab at the moment we'll take that off we don't need that where are we oh yeah I know where we are we'll head out of here we'll put the bale grab just down here And we'll go and get our bucket, which has just been delivered to the yard. Very conveniently delivered straight to our doorstep. So I don't know if it matters which cereal you actually do give them, but I'm going to give them wheat. There should be enough just for them. Yeah, more than enough. That's not going to even be close to what they need. I would imagine they'll probably take about 1%. We are going to have to give them some more though, actually, if we buy more. So I'll buy a load. And then as we've got the water bears are fairly close by, we'll be able to give them some more if we need to. Now buy them before we give them the seed. So currently we have 15. I'll buy some more and we'll probably get about 50. That's 50. Now we should be able to give them a more accurate amount of feed. I think it goes in here. Yes, it does. It must fill up more depending on how many chickens you've actually got. Well, that is the chickens done. We'll do them again in a few days. Because they probably do need more water. As we don't have much seed in there, we'll just put this under cover and turn the engine off. Handbrake on and over to John Deere again which hasn't moved with the engine on, so it just seems to be a problem mainly when you've got the engine switched off but we'll head down here and go over to our field this time we get to go over the bridge instead of trying to go underneath it nice double gates to get through and we'll leave them open because we'll be coming back later when the job's done and I'm going to do I'm going to go up and down the field and then at the end I'll go around the headlands and finish up this is a 7 meter seed drill so it's it's quite big it's obviously not massive but it's fairly good it's bigger than the one the Vanda said that we get so it's a meter bigger than that should be able to get some good work done Again, the sounds on this mod are not amazing. That is quite a big problem with a lot of mods, it seems. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's okay in a few ways. The looks of it are great. But there's definitely some aspects of it which do need work. Now, I'll probably start just over here. put it onto canola you see that is quite wide and it even makes me wonder if we've got a big enough tractor the soil is quite light here so we should be okay turn the indicator off see how good it is at field work well it's not pulling to one side which is a good sign it seems okay it seems to be just when you park it with the engine off which would be very annoying if you don't have drive control because obviously that allows you to keep the engine switched on if you don't have that the engine will automatically go off when you leave the cab and it will be driving around the yard on its own so you don't really want it if you don't have drive control and 
I think until these problems are fixed, I will probably change the tractor after this episode. But it's just nice to give it a go. Definitely nice to give it a go. Especially as so many people are requesting for me to do some John Deere's in these Let's Plays. And it just looked quite good. We'll also do a bit more interior view, I think. And I've put four-wheel drive on. You never know, that might fix the problem. Although I think it is the power spec. I mean, look, the interior is pretty good. It's got all these screens. The textures are a little bit pixelated. But overall, not too bad. Even says John Deere on the seat. So, yeah, it's definitely not a bad mod, but it does need work. I think that is the fairest way of putting it. The only thing about interior view is because I can't really see over the seat there. Because we're a small person, I can't really see if I'm in line. Uh, which is why I come out of cab view. You know, I think I just did that wrong. I think I did. I'll do that differently next time. I won't turn around the corner. Keep going straight. Yeah, I think that's better. Seems to be working quite well. Now, I do spin tyres on Mondays, and I used to do Eurotruck Simulator, and I probably will return to Eurotruck Simulator, but Monday is the kind of day where I just do anything, any kind of game but not farming simulator, just to keep it a bit different and the channel a bit more mixed. Uh, I know I do get quite a lot of dislikers on the spin tires videos because obviously you've probably subscribed to me for the farming simulator, but I try and do, you know, six, six days a week farming simulator and only one day doing something else. And it seems a bit unfair on people who want spin tires if I only do, if I do farming simulator every day, if you know what I mean. Um, so I will probably keep going with the spin tires as there are although you may not think it if you're a disliker of it there are a lot of people who do like spin tires including myself I think spin tires is a very good game but I think some people's opinion is some games are more enjoyable to play yourself and other games are more enjoyable to watch other people play I find Farming Simulator one of those games where you'd rather watch other people uh, but Spin Tires, I guess you could say it's one of those games which you'd want to play more than you'd want to watch. I don't know. That's probably just my own opinion, but that's just how I feel about it. But yeah, I'm going to keep going with it, because it seems a bit unfair on other people who are interested in it. But we will be changing. I'm not going to do Spin Tires forever. I'm going to keep doing different games and different simulators, and hopefully I'll be able to do one of the, one of the ones you like. Because you can't please everyone. It's just not possible. This seed drill also actually does fertilise the soil at the same time. Which is a nice little touch. It does mean you don't have to do any spraying or anything. Which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It definitely makes it easier. But, uh, I don't know. I know there is such thing as this in real life. It is actually realistic to do that. But, yeah, yeah I don't know. It means I can't make the tram lines, but I guess that doesn't matter too much. Now what I have just done is enabled the diff lock, because you can see there, I think part of the problem with those rear wheels is it's actually too light on them. They're just spinning. The front wheels are fine. But the back ones, uh, something up with them. Anyway, you can see that is much straighter. Looking a lot better there. So I'm just going to continue. It's going to take a while. We do have 
quite a bit of field to go at and it's not the biggest machine in the world but it's a good size I reckon we don't want to have anything too big the other John Deere with that cultivator that was pretty big and that didn't take too long to cultivate the field this was going to take longer uh, I think it's almost 12 meters or something I can't remember but we'll see how we go and keep going and get the job done today Brilliant seed drill though, love the seed drill, really good. I'm still going strong and we're not too far off the middle I think we're, we're over halfway now I think or about halfway we're doing quite well so just going to keep at it it's starting to go a bit dusk but I'll put it into real time just to slow it down a bit I don't want it to be totally dark but yeah just keep going oh the mirrors don't work actually I think there are a few little settings you can do you can do twin wheels, you can turn the mirrors on, so yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at those. I'll just turn around here. Right, so you can put the wheels on, but I don't think we're going to, because we don't really need to. Uh, but the mirrors, you press L. Okay, <laughs> that doesn't seem to be working. There we go, there's the mirrors. We've got the mirrors working. Uh, and they are actually working. Sometimes you can get mirrors and it's just like a some random background which isn't even in the same map you're on. But luckily these are working mirrors. Uh, there is also, I think this tractor also takes front loader, I think it does, but you have to enable that, like so, and there we go, so we could put a front loader on this tractor, obviously double wheels, front work light, back work light, uh, front and back, both look pretty good. Yeah, I think that is it. I will just put the double wheels on just to show everyone. Alright, so twin wheels. Got to be on the right setting here. There we go. Oh, could keep them on, I guess. Looks quite good. Yeah, that's quite good. We'll keep them on. Okay, so we're not actually done, but I'm going to have to head back to the yard because we have got a problem. Our diesel. We have only 33 litres left and I don't know why it's consuming it so much, but it is doing. Uh, so we're going to have to go and fill it up. I might as well put some seed in at the same time. I've heard of this problem before when you use way too much fuel. I think it's a glitch.
So the diesel is near the combine and the seed is obviously where we got it from before. Just do this really quickly. Now I'm not going to fill it up too much because it was actually a very good drill, it doesn't use too much. Obviously we must have it to the good setting, but we do need a full tank of diesel. Must have a leaking injector or something. No, we can't get close enough. I put 313 litres in, we've already used four. It's very thirsty. It's obviously not right. Just be careful not to run on the crops too much because I know what happens with the crop destruction mod, or the drive control it actually is. It means you get these lines everywhere. And I'm just finishing up here, and then we are done. The whole field is finished. I'll have to drive to the edge with it still switched on, otherwise I'm going to destroy the crops, even though they're not grown yet. And we'll head back to the yard. And I don't think we'll be returning to the field until we harvest it, so I will shut the gate. Close those goats too, and finally, we'll just drive up to the top of the yard to park our tractor and that'll be it for today and uh, yes please do leave your suggestions on what you think we should do regarding the tractors whether we should change it for a different one whoa or if we should oh it's a hedge again that hedge there the collision sticks out too far or if you think we should keep this one up to you uh, but we'll park it here for now And there we go. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And until next time, bye for now.